Hi everyone. Well, throughout uh, this week, in our midweek devotions, we are reflecting on the power of the cross. And in today's entry, we're going to consider weakness and foolishness. The weakness and foolishness of the cross. Now, you may be uh, very used to seeing the cross as a symbol of Christianity. You know, we hang it from uh, buildings, we wear it on necklaces. Uh, for many of us, it quite rightly symbolises hope and forgiveness and the love of God. But let's not forget what the cross was. A brutal, a shameful, humiliating execution method. And because of that, for many in New Testament times and for many in the world today, that the death of Jesus on a cross simply does not impress at all. It looks weak. It looks foolish. I mean, how can the tragic death of a maverick Jewish rabbi who was rejected by his own people and by the Romans, how can that be anything other than utter weakness? And the Apostle Paul reflects upon this in his first letter to the Corinthians, in chapter 1, verse 18. He says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And to the watching world, a dead saviour hanging on a tree looks like foolishness. And to those and those who follow him, well, they look like fools. If you're watching this and you're a Christian, I wonder if you've ever wished that this Christianity thing could be a bit more impressive. I wonder if you've ever felt embarrassed about trying to tell your friends that your faith and your hope rest upon something that outwardly appears to be so weak and unimpressive and foolish. But remember the second half of that verse. Uh, to those of us who are being saved, the cross is the power of God. As we've seen over the last few days in these devotions, in that great act of weakness, of embarrassment, of shame, Jesus was giving his life so that we might be forgiven. He was demonstrating the incredible love of God for sinful people. And there lies the power of God to those being saved. But the weakness of the cross also extends to the people of the cross. Uh, they too are weak. A few verses later in verse 27, Paul writes, But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. A church often doesn't feel particularly strong, does it? I often wish it felt more impressive somehow. But as with the cross, it is in weakness that the power of God is shown. The church is made up of uh, weak people who know their need for a powerful saviour. And the church feels pretty weak right now, doesn't it? pretty unimpressive. Uh, we can't even gather together. Uh, the best we can do is, is these sort of amateur videos of ministers, you know, with, with guinea pigs squeaking in the background. Uh, we're very weak. We're unimpressive. But our weakness points away from us to the cross, to the power of God. And actually, through everything that's been happening over the last few weeks, our society, which likes to think of itself as strong, now feels very weak and fragile. Our weakness, our fragility has been exposed, hasn't it? As I record this, our Prime, our, our prime Minister is seriously poorly in hospital and we, we pray for him to fully recover. But we're weak, aren't we? We've seen it so clearly. 
Uh, you may feel particularly weak because you fit in that vulnerable person category. Or because maybe you can't do the job, your job the way that you used to do it before. Or maybe someone you know or yourself, you've been directly affected by this virus. You feel weak. Well, let us be praying then that in our weakness... And as we are made pr profoundly aware of our weakness, we may turn to God, whose power is shown in the cross of Christ. Let's take a moment to pray. I'm going to use verse 30 of our passage to pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Lord Jesus, who in his weakness has become for us the wisdom of God, our righteousness, holiness and redemption. So we pray that in our weakness, unaware of our weakness, we may instead boast in the Lord, boast in the power of the cross. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you to see you tomorrow uh, for a Monday Thursday themed uh, devotion.